Hi guys, in my element tonight, just playing around with bits and pieces that I've scavenged from various places. I've got my Hall Effect sensor just here with the little circuit board that I rigged up the other night. So that if I move the magnet, we get either the red or the blue LED alight. I've added a couple of capacitors, a couple of electrolytic capacitors off of each of those LEDs and then I'm using a wire from there to trigger a transistor down here which unfortunately I'm not zoomed in enough for you to be able to see. And all I'm doing is trying different transistors that I've scavenged from various places to see if I can get them to run this electric motor. Now the good old faithful 2N2222 does it fine, but I'm just going through other transistors that I've found. I'll have to get my magnifying glass out and try and read some of the numbers. So these are just odd ones that I've salvaged from various places. And so I'm just literally trying them out to see if I can get one to trigger the motor. I'm not actually going to use that motor. What I'm intended to do is do one of those um, flip-flop things like the solar lights. Um, I'm going to try and use this actuator arm from a hard drive. It's got a nice coil on the bottom of it. So I'm going to see if I can use that to repel a magnet and the magnet is going to be triggering the Hall effect sensor. It's quite interesting to find that in the bottom of that um, arm there's actually a tiny little neodymium magnet. That's visible there. So that one has got enough power to trigger the Hall effect sensor. So I might have to take that out so it doesn't muck up what I'm trying to do. Now to have a look at this hard drive actuator arm. I've popped the little magnet out that was in that hole just there so it doesn't confuse things. I've stripped out the two wires that I actually want, or two tracks. I'll solder some little legs on the end there so I can plug them into the breadboard. Now I need to rebuild my bit of circuitry. Here's our Hall Effect sensor out of the fan. I've wired that to this little breadboard. It's just This is just double-sided tape stuck to this clear plastic frame. I'm then going to put the coil from the hard drive actuator arm over the front of it and hot glue that in place. And then I've got the neodymium magnet that came from the hard drive. And I should put that on the end of an arm that will go right over the front of that and I'm going to let it flap in and out. I could go that way but I'm going to go in and out on this case. I'm reassembling my circuitry on this red breadboard. So if I just bring my neodymium magnet near to the sensor, you can see we're going to red when it comes close. So what I'm now going to do is use the red LED as the trigger, or at least the wire from the red LED to trigger a transistor and the transistor will drive the coil and that will be set up so that that repels the magnet. I've recreated my original circuit so I can turn the electric motor on and off by bringing the magnet close. So what I now need to do is replace the electric motor 
with that coil. So I've just got a jumper across from there over to there. Right, there we are. We've got my flapper flip-flop working using the Hall Effect sensor and the hard drive coil and the hard drive neodymium magnet. I must admit I hadn't appreciated just how carefully balanced this needed to be to actually make it work. And if I actually lift up the camera and move back a bit what I've actually got is a barbecue skewer here going into a drinking straw. It's got some tape wrapped around it so I can actually move the barbecue skewer in and out to adjust the tuning. But once I've got it right, it rocks away quite nicely. I'm quite pleased with that. Let's see if I can stand back a bit. in the way, isn't it? So there we go. A Hall Effect sensor controlling a flip-flop, like one of those um, solar-powered flowers that flap away. So I'd better draw up a diagram. There's not much to it, but I'll draw one up anyway. Rather pleased with it because I'm using all those harvested bits or scavenged, whatever word you like to use. I'll just point them out again. So the magnet is from a hard drive. It's a neodymium neodymium magnet from a hard drive. The coil is the actuator arm from the hard drive. The Hall effect sensor is from a fan. Um, you can get the same out of a computer fan, but mine came out of a notebook cooler. I've got one transistor in there. I can't actually remember which one's in there at the moment, but I tested quite a few scavenged ones to get one that would work. In fact I've got about... let's have a look. I've got quite a pile there that will work. They're all different ones. 9 volt battery with my built-in switch so I can switch it on and off. And three AAA batteries there in something else that I've scavenged out of something. Uh, the resistors that I've used are scavenged resistors, the LEDs are scavenged LEDs, the little uh, capacitor in there is a scavenged capacitor. So, it's all working. And so I can adjust the speed of it by changing the length of the stalk or straw. <laughs> 